All right, YouTube, glad to see you guys back here once again on the channel. Now, I know that all my viewers out there are pretty much 100% the PC master race bastages who want nothing but the best to play their games on. Now, seems to me though these days, the best the best can either go two ways. You can go homegrown where you build your own system and you do it, or you can get these super duper uber fancy ass systems like the one that we're going to be checking out today from the people over at Corsair. Now this is the Corsair One Pro. Now is this the one for you? Well you'll have to make your decision at the end of the day but I gotta say this right off the bat. If you're looking for a computer that doesn't take up a lot of space, has a lot of power in it, looks cool and can pretty much do anything you want it to do, this series of computers just might be for you. Now, if you're one of those people that's on a cash diet, well, be prepared, because this thing's a bit pricey. But with that said, let's check out the model that we've got for review here from the people over at Corsair. So I want to thank them right off the bat for sending the system to us. This video is not sponsored in any way. We were just sent the system to check it out. So we're going to check it out, and I'll give you my honest opinion at the end of the day. But right up front, I'll be honest with you. Let's check out the system. Now the first thing you guys are going to notice is that this thing's really, really trippy in its design. It's not a tube, it's not a box design, it's kind of a weird rectangle and it's very, very small. I mean the dimensions on this thing are pretty incredible. The one size is in it, 200 millimeters by 176 millimeters by 380 millimeters. And as far as the weight factor goes, and if you're asking, hey man, can I carry this thing around and not feel like I'm carrying a brick, it's actually 7.2 kilograms because the entire case is made of steel. I mean, really guys, have you ever seen a computer that really just looked like this? I mean, check it, it's crazy, right? Let's dig in deeper. Now looking at the front, you guys are gonna notice right off the bat that this PC is VR ready. You got an HDMI port right in the front along with a USB port so you can be up and going without having to mess with anything in the back to hook up your VR glasses. Now that in itself, if you're a VR dude, you're gonna say, hey, cool shit. And above those, obviously, you guys can see the power button and the entire unit lights up and looks really cool, almost Tron-like, if I want to be honest. I was wondering if they were copying our old Tron system because it looks a lot like our old Tron system with that lighting. And it's also another thing that's pretty cool. Or would you rather play the badass drinking game? Another nice thing about the One Pro is that you can completely disassemble the system. Everything comes apart so you can see it internally. And when you guys look internally at this, you're going to like kind of go, wow, that's really unusual because the video card's facing straight up and cables are used to link that so you can put all your, you know, all your inputs and outputs into the back of the thing. So, I mean, that's kind of nifty in itself. I haven't actually seen any other design that uses this exact type of spec and that's probably a good thing if you want to be in the unique category. One thing you guys really need to take note of is this thing only has a 400 watt 80 plus gold power supply. That's right. And that power supply is very, very small, but yet this system's still able to power a GeForce GTX 1080. And best of all, the card comes liquid cooled. The CPU is the same way. It's liquid cooled, keeping the Intel Core i7-7700 running cool and quiet throughout your usage. And for those of you out there into overclocking, it is the K model. And the motherboard inside the One Pro is a Z270 Mini ITX motherboard. Now, whoever actually makes this motherboard, I'm not quite sure, but it is quite likely that it's made by ASUS. And as far as the memory sticks go, there are two eight gigabyte sticks of 2400 megahertz DDR4. And this memory is very easy to access. You just go right through the side port and it's actually one of the things you can upgrade in this system. And as far as storage goes, there's an ultra fast 960 gigabyte SSD to store all your games on. The system comes pre-installed with Windows 10 Home Edition. And as far as your networking goes, taking a look at the back of the unit, you guys can clearly see that this thing's totally set up for Wi-Fi right out of the box. There's also a standard gigabit ethernet port as well. And as far as the rest of the connections go, you get a single USB 3.1 Type-C port, three USB 3.1 ports, two USB 2.0 ports, a PS2 port, a single HDMI 2.0 port, two display ports, and obviously your audio, which comes through with Spitif. So I have to admit to you, if I was just going to buy a PC for design and looks alone, I gotta tell you though, man, the One Pro is one seriously badass, kick-ass, killer, whatever you wanna call it, system. As far as aesthetics go and everything, it's cool. You guys can see that you can easily take the entire thing apart. Now. One of the caveats I gotta mention though is that with the power supply in this, you won't be able to buy and stick in later down the road 
a 10 ATI. That's one thing. So just take that in heart. They do have a model that's a little bit higher than this. We'll have a link to that down below where it actually comes with that. It's a few hundred dollars more. And honestly, in my opinion, if you're going to go for this, why not just spend that few hundred dollars more and get one that actually has a 500 watt power supply I can take a TI because then you're pretty much getting the absolute, absolute best out of something at such a small size. But that's the system. Now let's jump in and let's check out the benchmarks and let's see how the system does in gaming. Let's rock! Folks, well, someone wanted to show their face in the video and say hello, and that's Mr. Buddy the Dog. But that's not why we're here. We're here for the One Pro. So, you guys see all the scoring and everything. The system doesn't run too hot. It's entirely liquid-cooled. Only thing about it is some of the upgradability about it is going to be, you know, modest. There's a nice way to put it without being mean. <laughs> it's modest. You're not going to be able to do too many crazy upgrades. I don't know, you know, how many other power supplies you're going to be able to find that will actually fit in this if you want to keep going on to the future because the case, you know, is kind of unique in its size and the way that it is. Um, memory you can upgrade, obviously. CPU, you'll be absolutely fine there. Like I said before, I think that the One Pro is a really nice system, but the one above it that we didn't get, happen to get our hands on that has the 10 ATI, even though it's a few hundred dollars more, I think that me personally, I'd rather recommend that system to you. And it's not really about the money, it's just a matter of, you know, your upgrade path. I mean, the 10A is cool, but at this point, you know, it's the card that's like almost two years old. So why not get something with what has a TI in it? Because you know, right now the TI is there and until Nvidia comes out with something else, well, you know, it's there. Plus, I mean, if Vega does come out and for some reason AMD's Vega becomes the most, you know, kick-ass card in the universe, I doubt it, but we'll see. But if it does happen to do that, you could obviously change out the TI since the power requirements should be low enough where, you know, you could actually put in the new Vega card when it comes out from AMD. But me personally, if I was going to go out and buy this out of pocket right now, I would rather just save a couple hundred dollars and buy the bigger system. That's just me personally. One thing I think that I wasn't really too happy about, I just thought it should have it in there. It may not mean jack shit to many people out there, but I like having external ports for little mini SD cards and all that stuff. I mean, obviously you guys know we film videos, we got cameras all over the place, phones, doing this shit. So to me, having that stuff be able to access and putting in it, it's cool. You know, I like having that. It's not the end of the deal. It's not a deal breaker, but just for me personally, I wish that it actually had it on there. So... Systems come into market, it's about 2200 bucks, a little bit pricey, like I said in the beginning of the video, but when you want the absolute best and you want something that's not only cool, it's aesthetically pleasing and kind of an art piece in itself, then you start paying bigger money. And that's kind of what this system is. Now on their personal website, all these things are pretty much completely sold out, like they're gone. So that just tells you they're obviously not shitty systems because why would everybody just buy the shit out of them and they weren't good. And I've watched you know, some of the reviews out there and everybody seems to be happy with them. I don't really see any complaints whatsoever. I mean, what do you complain about? I mean, this thing's water-cooled and only 400 watt power supply. 400 watt powering this entire 
fucking system. It's just amazing. So I got to say, you know, hats off to those guys for that. It's pretty cool. At the end of the day, it's a matter of choice. But if you've got the money, you want something unique and you want something they're probably not the guy down the street's going to have. This might just be the one for you. I'm Alec. I've been watching Tech of Tomorrow. This is Buddy, our dog, our mascot. He's getting old on me, poor guy like me. We're all getting old. This is G behind the camera, like usual. Links to this down below. We'll have some Amazon links so you can actually purchase what is in stock right at the moment. So if you're interested in that type of thing and you've got the cash to buy badass stuff, now's your chance. Peace out, my tech brothers and sisters. See ya.